Welcome back to Western Wilds. Hopefully no longer a time-lapse video, we'll see. I'm trying to record myself speaking. Never done that before, so it might be kind of weird. So we, the last thing we were doing was uh, finishing up the grass field. I have to cruise on over there to see what, I believe it just needs fertilized. Yeah, the tractor is sitting over there. This is, uh, I stopped mid-job from the last time-lapse video I did. This has... This is a little bit, 1,300. With recording my voice now, I can speak a little bit more about some of the equipment I use, and I just... Uh, some of these older tractors are just wonderful. The sounds they make... I just love them. Giants sort of outdid themselves uh, with this equipment, I think, coming into the game. It really, really made the game much, much better. The uh, newer equipment's really nice, but I just love the sounds of uh, shifting the gears and the tractors sort of moving around and whatnot. This cow barn over here, I do really like it because I think it's 150 cows. Um, it's just a little disappointing. My game is that was interesting. It's just a little bit disappointing that the cows don't have access to a pasture. I'm not used to seeing the cow barns without pasture access. They have like <laughs> they have like an eight foot square in there where they can uh, sort of look at grass, uh, which that's just just seems strange. I, I don't know. Maybe that's more normal in other parts of the world. I'm not sure myself. Um, Get straight here. I am using steering guidance, not necessarily a GPS, it just locks in on a particular direction down in the bottom right hand corner of my screen. It is currently locked at 270 degrees. Um, basically, I just go to the four, four directions. It really helps out. Um, sometimes steering in this game is a little off. One of the bad things about Farming Simulator is it just really struggle to steer and like maintain straight lines when it's not this difficult to maintain a straight line while driving a tractor in real life. That's probably the most upsetting part about it myself uh, when thinking about this. I'm not sure... Run over Barley Field. I'm not sure if there is enough fertilizer in here to do this field. Actually, so we're locking in zero degrees here. I might have to go to the shop to get more fertilizer. I don't have a silo to purchase it, and this is all the fertilizer we have on the farm. Um, I do have, I think I have some manure, but I do not have any, do not have any uh, way to spread said manure. I've never purchased one. It's one of the things I've never bought. I was hoping to get some version of a slurry spreader with the new um, DLC that's out now, the uh, Pumps and hoses packs. I have not played with that at all since recently uh, moving. I just haven't had time to really get around to testing it out and playing with it. It looks really good. I've seen a couple other YouTubers um, playing with it. Uh, really nice looking. I, I love the umbilical cords. I love the way they, they went about it. It didn't seem too buggy. It seemed like people were mostly pretty happy with it. Um, yeah. I really, I think we're just gonna go, let's do, maybe one do one more strip and then we'll just head over and get some more fertilizer, because this is definitely not gonna be enough fertilizer, just a little disappointing. I'm probably gonna make a lot more mistakes like this now, but with the time-lapse video, my usual strategy here is to uh, just sort of cruise around the farm before I rec record and look at what needs done and look at what I have, uh, but while I am speaking, I'm sort of distracting myself by speaking and driving around. Probably gonna end up running into things a little bit more as well. I think we will take... Uh, so I think the seed tender can come with us on the other John Deere. I think it can hook up to the back, the rear, and then we'll just sort of park this guy here. Kim on the side of the road. 
out of the way. Now that I am not doing a time lapse video, I don't have to worry too much about walking everywhere. So I was playing a little bit more realistically. I've got the weight on the back of this tractor. Oh, I'm gonna need this is what I was just talking about. I'm going to need the other attachment on this tractor. I don't need the forks. This is this is one of the things I really like about the Farming Simulator 22. When you drive, it's just got these really nice engine sounds, really nice clunking, attaching, the shifting. I never thought the base game sounds would just add so much to the experience of playing the game. I didn't even realize I was missing it until um, you know, I, I played it. Should we, should we take the... Uh, I wonder if we should just tell this guy to just drive over there. Send a helper, maybe, and then I'll come over as well. Yeah, I think so. Set it right here. It's circle. I play with a PlayStation 4 con or yeah, PlayStation 4 controller, believe it or not. It um weirdly detects all of the uh buttons and everything. Um I haven't done anything to set this up. It just sort of does it on its own. I do play on Steam, so maybe that has something to do with it, I'm not sure. It is very nice though, because all the controllers are so different, sometimes it's a difficult to figure out <laughs> what button does what. Um, anyhow, I will I will head over to the shop and we'll load up there. A new place, a new home for a while. Alright, we are at the shop. Or the dealership. Um, I really have no idea what they've I've been thinking about this um, all day as I've been trying to consider recording this video and attempting to record my voice while doing it. The time lapse videos were so easy to record, a lot more editing, but I don't have to worry too much about video length because you can just cram so much into the, uh, the video. So we need. This thing doesn't hold too much for it. I'm really just not sure how big these videos are going to be. Uh, let's do four. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure how big the videos will be. I'm not sure how long they'll be. Um, I'm probably going to time lapse a lot of the field work. That seems like it makes the most sense. I'm not sure what other YouTubers do. I don't watch a whole lot of uh, YouTubers play Farming Simulator. So Felt the back end lift up. Wrong side of this. Can't see it. Little windows on the seed tender. I'm pretty sure there's seed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's seed in one of these. Left side. Left side's on. Because I use this for the seeder. Barley feed. Moving around a little bit. Hmm. Here, I really, really enjoy this seed tender. I'm so glad I, I saw this. I think this is a. I'm pretty sure this is a mod. Um, I think it was in the base game of Farming Simulator 19. I'm not. I don't. I don't quite remember. Uh, it's just so wonderful to have a seed tender. I don't have to drag around a trailer and tractor and all this other equipment. You could just sort of bring a pickup truck. Um, I've seen these... I've actually seen this exact seed tender in real life. And they're just so useful for the smaller scale things. Not necessarily the great big guys, but the ones I have seen actually had a little motor. Yeah, right there. They have a little motor on them. A little gas-powered motor. And uh, this will just run. You don't even have the vehicle. You don't have to have the vehicle running. It'll run everything on. It. And uh, for the smaller scale farmers, it really works out well. You don't have to worry about having all this equipment. You can just bring the pickup truck. You can bring 
two guys. You can have the guy in the tractor and the guy in the pickup truck, and then that's all you need. The guy in the pickup truck can drop it off here, and then he can head and do something else in the farm. Uh, while one guy seeds on the field. Is this going to fill it up? Oh, good. I wonder... I should probably... It does seem like a lot. Maybe I should buy two more. Just to bring two more back to the farm. I don't... There is that production building where you can make your own fertilizer. I haven't bought it yet. I've been thinking about it. There's a lot of things on the list to buy. I think it's like $80,000 to purchase that. And it turns, I want to say, digestate and uh, water into fertilizer. Or maybe it's just digestate. I don't quite remember. We'll, we'll drive the tractor. I'll send this with a worker again back. Truck. Spin around here. We'll head back. Take, tell this guy to go back. This is much nicer, having these roads redone like this. So we'll just have him go here. Hop out, let him go. Hop in the John Deere. Alright, and I will see you back at the field where we are fertilizing the grass. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride. Alright, so we are back here at the field. Um, the worker is not happy. Apparently, I told him to go too close to the tractor. So I'm going to have him go over here. Extend that. Turn it off. There's an app. So take this John Deere. We'll go put these away and then head back and finish. Fertilizing this field. And then I think I need to skip, it. skip ahead a day. Pretty sure everything is done. This is still the same day from the last time I recorded a video, so that was taking care of the animals, filling up the mixer. You can drive by the mixer here to see, because you can tell how full it is based on these. I don't think this needs to be filled. Scroll all the way down. Um, it's half. There's quite a bit of expression. I want to make sure that that stays full. I don't have enough cows now to outrun that mixer, but that mixer is quite small. So if I don't keep it full overnight when I sleep, I will run out of TMR. Not the end of the world because I do have a feed wagon, feed wagon that mixes TMR. Um, I just, it's not automated, so set these up. Lot of, way more line than I expected. I think we'll park this John Deere and we'll head over. It's the wall. This is what I was worried about um, with me speaking as opposed to uh, just, you know, driving around listening to music in my time-lapse videos, um, I'm a little worried that I'm going to be spending more time running into stuff and being a little bit more of a klutz. So, so over here, I can see it. You spend a lot of time driving with my videos. I actually don't know how well that comes across in the uh, recording. So. This is so far, this John Deere here, the 4755, is my favorite of the older vehicles. Uh, now, I have not played, uh, I have not played with the Massey Ferguson yet. Um, so I'm a little excited to try that one out, but the older equipment is, is just really nice. Now, I briefly, this video is being recorded after the Platinum expansion came out. And I briefly ran around that map looking at the equipment. Oh, I, I do really like this Steyr. It's so nice. And I saw that the Volvo equipment 
was new. Um, I don't know what where that tractor is. Maybe if I is it a medium tractor? I wonder. Does it show up? Does it show up at the end of the list? Like it's a mod? I don't see it. Why am I not seeing the Volvo? I don't think it's a. Uh, I don't think it's a big tractor. It should be. I should have it, right? No, it's not on here. That's so weird. Do I have to enable the mod? It's not a mod, but do I have to enable it, I wonder? Um, but anyhow, I drove around on, uh, what is it, Silver Run Forest? Was a, um, was a, a really, was a really pretty map. I was actually quite surprised. Um, normally giants doesn't have a very good track record for making you know, really pretty maps, as anyone who's played farming simulator is aware. They're generally not that pretty, uh, but I was really surprised at how nice it looked. And it was a it was a full blown logging map, which I don't know if they've done before. But uh, they they the map actually starts if you play on if you start on easy, you start with already owned equipment. You start with a bunch of equipment that is one dirty not brand new worn down i think it was like 50 percent worn down or something uh, which was also another really pleasant surprise i like having that older equipment that's sort of worn down and uh needs to be fixed up and needs to be washed like it was actually being used because sometimes you start these uh, giants maps or some modded maps and well, they start with all this equipment and it's like old older equipment like this john deere for example and it's brand new. It's like it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. There's no hours on it. It's dirty. The paint isn't worn out. And I was really surprised to see that little Volvo. Um, I was just driving around the map on the Volvo. It was really nice. Um, I'm not that familiar with the older Volvo equipment. I think I saw um, a skid steer style piece. Uh, there is the um, obviously the Volvo semi. Um, I have driven several Volvo semis in my time. Um, in real life, I drive some heavier equipment around. I'm not a big fan of the Volvo semi trucks uh, here in America, at least. I don't know about overseas; it's a little bit different. But here in America, the, at least the Volvo I drove, which is a, they were a little bit older, really just felt like I was driving around on a boat, like a big land boat. Not a big fan. Driven uh, Peterbilt and Kenworths. Um, wasn't a big fan of the Kenworth. Uh, so far, my favorites have been um, Peterbilt's Overlands and Mac and International. That's about the extent of my heavy equipment experience. Dude, this, small, this is a mod. This uh, little fertilizer spreader here. It's real cheap. Really like this. I've used it on all my maps so far. Uh, there's not really an option for a small little spreader like this. It's real nice. I, I just like how it's, it's, it, it almost looks homemade. That's what I really enjoy about it. Um, where was I keeping this? I think I was keeping it. Sure. Here. I just leave him it's slow. We'll just leave this tractor right here. Shut these doors. Over to the truck. Here we go. Drive back to the farm. Put this away. Then we need to skip ahead because there is currently nothing to do. It is April. Let's just double check. Let's just double check the animals because I have a tendency to absolutely. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. This is why I wanted to double check the sheep are close to starving, which is not good. And uh, we have... Okay, so barley is in two months, so we're good on that. We have all of our fields converted to barley at the moment. The reason is, is that I have had this little chicken coop on another map, and boy, when, they, when it is up to 1,500 chickens, you just, just fly through the food. It is kind of unbelievable. So I got a little worried that I was going to run out. Um, I don't want to run out of 
food because this map I was uh, would have to purchase some chicken feed and it would be just so expensive. Get him back here. Shut these doors. I think I left the doors open. No, it's it's closed. All right. So we need the John Deere with the front loader, and we use the forks. Uh, I at the start of this series, when this was still a time lapse, I had a bail spike on the Kubota. Now on the Kubota, I really love that little Kubota. But the bail spike was rather annoying to use. I don't know what it is, but it was so difficult to maneuver the uh, bales around. For some reason, the, this uh, these uh, pallet forks were working so much better. Hey, let's grab the biggest. Let's grab one. Uh, I don't know how many. Take two, and we'll just put them back if I don't need them. The only thing I don't like about this particular storage mod, I don't like that you can convert the bales. I wish that it would only give you bales that you put in. I don't like that I can put the smallest bale and get the biggest bale back, etc. Kind of annoying. I don't like that that menu is even there. I understand why it's there. I just sort of wish that it wasn't. Over here to sheep. Oh, and there go the bales. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll just pick him. Set him over here. Sheep. Won't let you starve. Maybe. Let's see. Might. And the fork. This is what I was worried about by, <laughs> by recording. My voice, I am focusing more on uh, talking to the video and narrating than I am actually driving around, and I'm going to end up just sort of running into things, perhaps crushing a sheep with uh, one of my big bales. I'm not sure. I'm a little worried about that, but yes, it is what it is. We will uh, put this John Deere away in the shed. It looks it doesn't look too dirty. Oh, that's interesting. I must have run into that. I must have run into this, and I didn't notice because it is lined up quite poorly. I wouldn't have parked it that way. So, what's that? I think I need to sell this at some point. I've been putting it off. Take it over here. Head back to the house. So the two next major purchases I really want to do in this one is I want to get one, we need a farmhouse. It does not help production at all, purchasing this farmhouse, but I just feel bad for the farmer. We're on year, I don't know, four, five, I'm not entirely sure. And this poor guy has been in this little trailer the whole time. And I, I feel like it's time to upgrade, get him something a little bit nicer. The cows and the chickens have buildings that are nicer than what our poor farmer is uh, sleeping in. But hey, you never know. Maybe he doesn't care. I mean, it's not like we spend much time in there. So, barley is next month. We are not selling anything at the moment, or maybe we are. It says we have 10,000 methane. We do have, we probably have quite a bit of lettuce. Sheep are good. Cows are good. Chickens are good. TMR mixer is basically maxed out. That's fine. Lettuce is good. It's got seeds. Um, the distributor, a little low on water. Seeds is good. Manure is basically out. Now, I wish I had a way to disable this thing from distributing because it's going to distribute manure to the BGA. Yeah. We have 3,000 manure in there. Oh, oh, the planks. We're out of wood. 
Maybe that's what we'll do today. We will go cut some trees down. So let's take a look at the greenhouses over here. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, quite a bit of lettuce. There's two rows of lettuce. Now, when I put this down, I did not think too well on this. I think we need to paint this because um, construction, landscaping, because in order to load these uh, pallets of lettuce, I am going to have to bring a semi in here. Semi is going to need somewhere. I need to take out a little bit of this. I need to be able to swing the semi in here. It's straight. So I oh we've got fifty thousand um, dollars. I think it'd be really easy to do a load of. I'm not doing it at the train yard anymore because I ran into issues loading the pallets. The pallets were just flying everywhere. The um, Platinum Expansion, I have read that it has actually updated the handling, the physics for handling the log. So I'm a little excited about that. Get the back track. Oh, this. So in the time lapse videos, I didn't have this issue. But. Now that this is no longer a time ass video, the sounds on some of these modded vehicles, it's just so, so loud. It's off to. I have to see how loud this actually is in the post editing. have to update the auto loading as well to a different trailer at some point. Really there's just so I mean this farm isn't that old. There's just so many things we need. Okay. Oh we still got the um what is that that silage additive? I'll just leave it in there. I can't actually sell that so it's not that big of a deal. So if I remember right, this particular trailer, every time I get in it or I close the game or open the game, it defaults back to loading liquid pallets. I need to come on. This Mac has got so many. It's not. Let's see. It's not swapping the pallet type. I've run into this issue every time. It's not even showing. Auto. -load. Just curious. Move the keyboard. Unload I. Disable all. Maybe if I unload this particular pallet. Okay, but now it is recognizing there. I guess that little silage additive palette was messing it up. A little bit more, we need to grab that one's palette. Kind of a weird place to leave that palette, but it is what it is. Here. Let's see if I can back. Avoid the palette. Hopefully we don't kill any sheep, hopefully we don't take down the sheep enclosure, run over any lettuce pallets, etc. Little tight, little tight. Once saw that, except the sheep. Oh, so close. I knew this was going to be an issue. Without, uh, without coming in straight. It's going to be a little tight. Right, there we go. Now, let's go check 
I'll just leave that wool pile out there. Let's go check the chickens. Thing, the thing I really enjoy about this particular coop, uh, when you need to load the pallets, it it almost seems like you need to go inside to pull them all out, but if you are loading, you don't have to. Let's check. Chickens have been busy. Although there's 600 of them, so I guess that explains why they've been busy. There's quite a few ladies in there. Another thing I'm a little disappointed about with this coop, um, I would prefer free-range chickens with a big pasture, but I am unaware of a mob that has a large capacity free-range. Close that up and we will head over to the dealership, which has the uh, farmer's market, which is where all this stuff is sold. Uh, but yeah, I would like to have the animals to have access to actual pastures, not just not just uh, being stuck in the building all day long. Uh, I think it would be cooler to have that option. Um, I know it's up to the modders, and here I am complaining about not having access to a thing when I can only even think about that because of what the modders have done. I mean, there is no 1500 chicken coop base game, so thanks to the modders for doing as always. It's been so long since I've it's since I, I've been moving, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to play Farming Simulator, and this just feels it feels like I'm coming. Anyone who plays Farming Simulator, you understand this game is just it's relaxing. It's so nice. So, the platform is not big enough for the whole trailer, so I'm going to sell the front, and I'm going to slowly go forward. Hopefully, because I, I wanted to see the full number, so that was 10,000. Okay. Definitely paid for the first. Oh, 10,000. A little over 20,000. Not too bad. Really enjoy this map. I wish there was a way to um, sell without offloading onto the train. The train is is worth it. So, I mean, I think I can show. It's probably going to try to save, but take a look at the prices here. What did we just sell? We sold eggs. We had the train yard prices. 1,000 versus 1,600. We can find lettuce. Which where's lettuce? 1400. And the train yard sells at that price all the time. You can make so much more money. And it's not it's not that I don't want to handle the pallets individually with like a forklift or anything. It's just it, this game just has some issues with some of the pallets. Uh, I might look for a mod that lets me um, does they have some mods that we strap or auto load onto the forks or let the forks go invisible so that the pallets drop off? I might try to look into getting something like that because really just missing a lot of money. It's sort of the, the whole thing of this map is you know selling at the train here. Other than being big and flat, which is really nice. Yeah, the farm. I did install all these lights. I don't often play at night, but there are lights in front of all the buildings now. So much noise here. Let's see, my truck is almost out of fuel. That's okay though. Back into here. Blind side into regular back. Turn on our flashers. Safety first, I guess. station. 
Oh, you know what I should have done? See, this is where I'm going to get in trouble because I'm sitting here rambling and I'm just going to be so inefficient versus the time lapse videos. Not that I was super efficient there. I should have sold. I mean, it was right there, too. While I was there, I should have picked up all, look, 20,000 liters of planks just sitting over there. I could have auto loaded and sold. So let's take this guy over to the trees, and we'll go cut down some trees and load those up. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. That's what he's talking about. When I built this, um, it actually... I want to say it paved in this section. And I went through and painted this dirt and grass to make it look a little nicer because these poor, these poor cows, all these ladies in here, they have no access to a, uh, they have no pasture actions, which is just wild. Um, there's also no, there's no brushes in here. I feel a little bad about that. I would have several of those set up, but it is a nice, of the modded, Barns, it's one of the nicer ones I've seen. There's a lot of European style barns, but I was trying to play American style on this map, sticking with John Deere brand, some American style fields. The farm is just massive, uh, which leads into the big American farm styles. All the farmers around me have like, thousands of hectares of land, and they farm it with. You know, great giant big tractors. I forgot about them. Apparently I planted a little too close to the edge of what I own, and I cannot get rid of them. Which is a little frustrating. So we'll park here. I have an FPS drop when I look off this way. I don't know how how um, noticeable it is in the recording. So I need I need a dropper for us. Here. A tree grab. I also need to purchase the stump grinder. I have one for the tractor. Um, I know you can just use lumberjack to grind the stumps, but I do like grinding the stumps. I think that's kind of a cool process. The uh, equipment used in that is real nice. I've seen it ran in real life and I got to run it briefly. Uh, it's a very fun piece of equipment to use. If you ever get the chance to check it out, look up a stump grinder on YouTube or in real life. If you see uh, some guys cutting down the trees, landscaping guys. Real powerful piece of equipment, throwing wood chips everywhere. They're a good way to get some mulch for your gardens. Or pathways around your house. I really don't, because I spent some time moving. I don't I just don't remember how many trees it took to fill this trailer. Another thing I'm a little bummed about the uh, platinum expansion for some reason is not in this game. I'm not sure why. Maybe I have to enable it. I thought that stuff just auto enabled. The giants stuff came out, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I have it disabled and I have to enable it in the mod list. So, now I believe I will need to find it, but I thought I read somewhere that the lumberjack mod had a way to measure hogs, and I just I just don't, I just don't see it anywhere. I don't remember. Maybe it's in the key vines. We'll scroll down. Game, I don't need to get to the mods. Oh, we are in the mods. All right, palette, auto loads, uh, switch to Kubota. Platinum expansions here. I could try pressing one of the buttons and see what happens. Let's play easy development controls, enhanced vehicle, guided steering, lumberjack. So all I have is, yeah, 
Maybe I have the wrong version. Well, I do have this measuring. I have to do this. I don't normally cut trees with the controller anyways. I use the mouse keyboard, so it's not that big of a deal. Let's do a look to see where the where my tractor was before I went to cut down this tree. It'd be just my luck. I'm sitting here rambling and then I'll smash my tractor or my truck with a tree. I don't even remember the length of this tractor. So, I seem to remember my John Deere struggling to pick up some of the bigger logs. 12 meters it looks like. Um, my land should end over here somewhere. All right, so I'm, I'm over. Oh, you know what? I might have cut a tree that's not actually mine. Because I think the... I want to say the Lumberjack mod or something else actually lets me cut any tree. That's my mistake. I just cut some... <laughs> just cut someone else's tree down. I'm a terrible, terrible person. I don't know who owns this land, but... My apologies. My apologies on that. I will I will get these trees cut up and um, look into loading it. Hopefully I don't make too big of a mess and I'll do it while I'm not talking. That way maybe it looks a little bit more professional on video than <laughs> if I was talking and getting distracted. I know man passing by life is good best I've ever felt. just have a worker take the John Deere back and then I will take the logs over to the sawmill and deliver those and then I, I'm really again I'm not so sure because I'm sort of new to 
making a video like this. Um, oops, oh, I am under under the wrong thing here. Set destination. There we go. Got it. Uh, I'm not sure in the video length. Normally the videos are 20 to 30 minutes long, but now that I am talking and not speeding every job up, it almost feels like I am not going to be able to have so many jobs crammed into one video. So, yeah, I don't know. I would like to sell those um, other pallets that I forgot about. I have to do that anyways because <laughs> the sawmill is basically full and I drove by there without thinking. So yeah, I think um, I'll deliver this, this is half load logs to the sawmill and then I'll jump back get the other trailer and we'll sell those other log or the pallets um, the improved log physics I didn't really notice anything I did notice that the larger logs that are on here I was able to pick up the bale grab that I own um, all right so this trailer I remember really struggles in these corners. It likes to tip. Uh, the bale grab that I own really struggled to pick up some of those larger logs. They would just always slip out, and I didn't have any of them slip out except for one of the smaller ones at the trailer, which I think was me and not the bale grab. Or, I'm sorry, the log grab. It feels good doing some logging. I wonder if I should play that silver. I don't know if I'll record it. I do enjoy logging. There's not a whole lot of YouTubers, I think, that do the logging. I don't think many people enjoy it. I know some of the equipment's finicky. This drive is so much nicer now that the gravel world. As long as we don't tip our trailer. I'm looking in my mirror and I see it sort of vibrating back and forth. Might need to get a modded trailer or something. Because I don't think this is... Alright, I will go and get the other trailer, and then, uh, yeah, we'll sell all of those balance, so. guys to spawn in it takes some it seems to take like 20 30 seconds doesn't seem too long when this is in the time lapse form but you know when I'm sitting here waiting sometimes it really does seem like it takes a while for these to show up it says there's 14,000 in there still I might yeah we'll just uh, I'll time lapse through this Like, I like selling things. 
Boy, it's worth a lot of money. For this. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good price or not. Not too important. Our flasher's off. And we'll head back to the farm. Nine thousand. That's enough for that house that I. Uh, let's see here. Farmhouses have like a yeah the American R25. Okay, so we're a little bit off. All right, but I think um, right back to the farm. I think that's it. It says I've been recording for an hour. I normally record for two or three hours, cram it all into a time lapse video, you really get so many jobs. But a lot of this won't be in time lapse, so. I think this video will be fairly long as it is. I will try to figure it out. Hopefully it's not too long. Hopefully people don't hate this new format. This was a lot of fun for me to do. I really enjoyed kind of rambling, rambling while uh, driving around. This was a, this was much more fun. Usually I just usually I'll put on a movie and some music or something while I'm playing. This is this feel, felt a lot better. Felt a lot, a lot more natural playing this way. Alright, so that's the end of the video. See you on the next episode.